New tonight, advocates gather outside the Rhode Island State House calling for a cap on so called uh, solitary confinement at the ACI. They say it does more harm than good, and they're championing legislation that would ensure no inmate is segregated for more than 15 days. The Department of Corrections says this is an unfunded mandate. 12 News reporter Kim Kalunian has the details. Kim? Well, this is a piece of legislation that's been introduced for years but has yet to get lawmakers' approval. Advocates are hoping this year is different. It was 2016 when Target 12 was given exclusive access into segregation units at the ACI. At the time, the longest serving inmate in so called solitary confinement had been there for three years. And there were calls then to cap the practice at 15 days. Then, director of the Department of Corrections opposed any changes to the law. There are some people for whom a couple of days is sufficient and as much as they can handle. There are others who, for whom 15 days is not enough. The 2016 bill was abandoned in favor of the creation of a legislative study commission, and by the summer of 2017, the Department of Corrections agreed that only those who committed the most egregious offenses would be placed into segregation for more than 31 days and for no more than one year. Fast forward to 2021, and advocates are still calling for change, hoping to win support from lawmakers this year for that 15-day cap and other adjustments. An Joseph Shepard attended a rally at the State House Tuesday Day. He's a former inmate at the ACI and was held in restrictive housing. Permanently, physically, spiritually, and mentally home. At a hearing for the House version of the bill in March, an attorney for the Department of Corrections called the proposal misguided and costly and said it would be impossible without additional funding. She said roughly 80 inmates are held in restrictive housing each quarter, most for less than 30 days. Those kept in solitary confinement are sometimes held in their cell for a full 24 hours. And people like Shepard say it's no way to rehabilitate offenders. If you really want Rhode Island to be a better, productive, safer place, for you, for your family, for your children, for your friends, then support this bill. Neither the House nor Senate version of the bill has been scheduled for a vote. At that hearing back in March, the legal counsel for the Department of Corrections says there are several federal lawsuits on this topic in mediation. She says the issues will be resolved in court. I'm Kim Kalunian, 12 News.